Hey guys! In today's tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how to make a rapid photo slideshow. Unlike traditional slideshows, it uses multiple photos combined in a dynamic way to present. If you're interested, let's get started together! Launch Video Plug Flagger and create a new project. Import all the prepared photos into the software. Find the Video Plug in the upper left corner. Click on it to enter the settings panel. Find the photo duration and set it to 0.5 seconds. This can improve the editing in fashion a lot, as when we drag all the photos onto the video track in the main interface, we won't need to edit the duration of each photo manually. Then open the effects panel in the upper left corner, find the border effect, drag it to the effects track, and align it with the duration of these photos. Go to the inspector to adjust the border size. Then, use the camera icon above the preview window to create a photo with borders. Go back to the main interface, move the playhead to the next photo, and click the camera icon again to get the second photo with the border. After quickly generating all these border photos, import them into the software. This way, the first step is quickly completed. Now, find this button, click on it to add multiple overlay tracks. Then, drag the first photo with borders to the overlay track, adjust the duration, and adjust the scale to the proper size in the inspector. Then, find the motion icon in the toolbar and click on it to enter the motion editor panel. Click Add Keyframe on the first frame. Adjust the size of the selection box to make the image as small as possible. Then, continue to add the second keyframe. Adjust the size of the selection box to make the image larger. Adjust the rotation value to 3, and add a speed curve to it. Finally, move the playhead to the last frame. Click Add a Keyframe and keep the current state. This completes editing the dynamic effect of the first photo. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Drag the second photo with borders to the empty overlay track. Adjust the duration in the same way. Edit its scale in the inspector to be the same as the previous one, and then enter the motion editor panel. The steps for adding keyframes are the same as for the first photo, except that we need to change the rotation value to the opposite direction here. In the preview window, you can see the alternating arrangement of these two photos. Use this method to complete the editing for other photos in turn. Remember to change the rotation values to make the outcome more dynamic. Now, we select the photo on the video track. Go to the inspector and check Enable Image Denoising. Then, Adjust these three parameters to completely blur in the background. After editing, the photos with borders will be more prominent and eye-catching. Next, open the Transitions panel in the upper left corner. Find the Fade Transition and drag it to the video track at the connection between these two photos. Adjust the duration. Go to the Inspector and find the Transition area. Select Add All Right. 
Then click a batch add transition. In this way, all connections have been added with transitions, which is very convenient. You can delete or adjust them according to your needs. In addition, it's also important to add music and camera sound effects to this video. Complete basic editing for them one by one. This will make the final effect better and more complete. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. Quickly use your photos to try making a unique slideshow. If you want to see more creative tutorials, be sure to follow us. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!